All right, here, let's get ready for the Green Bay Fear review. I don't know, dude, this bag's a lot lighter. Hang on. There's no money There's in no here. That's 10 points off already. Dude, at least, maybe more, honestly. Joke. Yeah, we were keeping the joke going from the... Just tearing the... Yeah, yeah, if you guys weren't following it, it's a joke we've been doing. All right. So, Green Bay Fear is a long-standing classic haunted attraction in the Green Bay area off Bond Street. And, uh, yeah, we're going to jump in right into it tonight. So, for general, is there a website and does it have good information? Yes and yes. Is parking available on site? Yes. And is it clearly labeled? Yes. <coughs> is there a clearly labeled and attended ticket booth? Does it present prices and rules? Yes to the first. No to the second. I did not see prices listed when we went through. Clear queue lines? Yes. I'm giving half of the total points here because when we came to the house, I could barely see the labels for General and Fast Pass. Some better lighting might do you guys some good out there. Are attractions clearly marked? Yes. Are atmospheric music and audio selections appropriate? Yes. Did actors stay in character? For the most part, yes. Uh, though I did see some actor-to-actor -actor interactions that were not very in character. Was the haunt fully well-staffed? I said no. And I said no for reasons that I will discuss when we talk about this in the house. Though we did encounter a lot of actors, we only did so in certain areas. Mm -hmm. Was there clear directions through and after the hunt was over? Yes. Was the lighting used in the hunt appropriate? Yes. You even commented to me in the house how you could actually see something now and it creeped you out a little bit. So that mm -hmm. was nice. Was there any unusual scents? Yes. Did you catch another group? No. Was the scenery appropriate? Yes. Did the haunt maintain immersion? Yes, for the most part. Was the walking path safe and well maintained? Yes. Did the haunt feel appropriately priced? Yes. And did the haunt have a good atmosphere? Yes. <clears throat> Scares. Did actors attempt to scare you? Yes. Were masks used of good quality? Yes. Did props seem real and scary? Yes. Were the actors in the correct positions to, to enhance the scares? Out of two, I gave them one point for that. One minute later. Were there a variety of monsters and haunters on the site? Pretty much was there a theme? And did they hit it? Yes, they did. That's two points. Did any actor try to scare you twice in a scene or actors? Yes. Did any actor try to scare actors and props scare you three times in a scene? No. Did any... Were there more than jump scares in the haunt? I gave them a five. Out of five. Yes. Was there a go-home scare? A variety... Pretty much a scare in the very last room? And I gave them a yes for that, which is two points. Were scares the same as they were last year? Just the same old scary. I gave them three out of five. Again, more on that later. Uh, did actors seem well-trained and enthusiastic? Yes, very much so. Were all props, animatronics, and devices in working order? The ones that were out? Yeah, I would say yes. Were there any unique scares? I gave them two points for that. I felt like there were some unique scares throughout the haunt when it came to different situational scares when it came to environments and such. And did any actors scream, get out, or fresh meat, or whatever would be on that list of no-no words? No, they did not, which is an additional two points. And last but not least, did any sounds used to enhance the scenes? Now, I gave them one point on this uh, out of two. I felt like there is just a lot of reused things with the house. Again, we'll touch on later. Uh, so in total, out of all those points, the yes and no questions, that gave us a total of 33 points. And I had a 35 for general, so that puts them at a current standing score of 68 out of 80. Uh, so, of course, we'll get into personal points here in a little bit. But first <coughs> off, there's a couple things I just want to touch on and talk about. Uh, so when I came up to the ticket booth tonight, that's one thing I was kind of curious about because I haven't really seen... <coughs> you good? Mm -hmm. I just I, don't have water to drink this time. I haven't really seen uh, prices listed there the last few times we went up um 
it might be, but I haven't seen it. And I, I was actually looking for it tonight. They have a whole bunch of signs out front on the ticket booth. None of them show the prices. Uh, maybe there's some place, maybe there's smaller prints somewhere and I'm just missing it. But uh, so, <coughs> and as far as like the queue lines thing goes, so yes, they do have clear queue lines, but as you get up to the house and it's dark, we literally had to like crouch down to read general and then the fast pass sign was over there. So it, there were, there's, they could definitely benefit from a few pin lights on some of those things. You guys will notice in some of our reviews now, some of the stuff we talk about is just general haunt stuff. So that's going to be more for the haunt and not so much for the haunt goers. Dude, if you need water that bad, drink some. I don't want to drink your water. Dude, then drink some of that. I, I, that's your water. You want to just pause it for one second. We'll be right back. Just go get a water. I'm going to keep talking. Okay. So you guys will notice that in our reviews now, we start to talk about some of these different things, right? And where it may not apply to the general customer, it may be more for the haunt themselves that's seeing this review going, oh yeah, you know, we should probably fix that. It's more of a quality of life thing for the customer, right? Like, hey, you know, stick a few pin lights on those on those signs so, you know, they light up and people can actually see general admission, fast pass. So just that kind of stuff. Uh, so when we come back around to see did actors stay in character, I did see while I was on site, I did see two actors interacting right out in front of everybody too. Didn't even try to hide it in totally non-monster, non-actor ways. They were in makeup, they were in costume, and it didn't seem like something that they should be doing out in front of people. It's, and they were very close to a place where they could have just slipped behind a door real quick, done what they were done what they did, and then came back. It wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, I did see that, so I'm not going to look the other way on that one. So the total points for did actor stay in character is five points. You ended up getting four out of five points for that. So you only ended up losing one point for that. Not a huge deal, realistically. Uh, was the haunt fully and well staffed? So I said no to this question. <coughs> did you want to just go out in the hallway and die? <laughs> So then did. I can turn you into Green Bay Fear and you can just stay there and work? Like, seriously? Did you want to just die? You good? Why are you so mean to me? You good? I'm just trying. Got, uh, Green Bay Fear, I got <coughs> some fresh meat. All right, that's two, minus two points. <laughs> <laughs> so I said no to was it fully and well staffed. And the reason I said no, we are going to talk about the trail separately coming up here. Because that is not included in this statement. <coughs> when we went through the house, it was almost completely empty when we went through the house. We went through multiple rooms and saw no actors and had no actor interactions. And after walking through the trail that was quite literally stacked to the teeth with actors... I was really let down when the house was just fell flat on its face. Yes, they had some actors. There was so much potential <coughs> that was just left on the table in the house on this night. And with the amount of people on the trail, you easily could have taken two of those people, put them in the house... And had a way, way better experience. That house should be the main course of any The house is the main course. Mm -hmm. And the problem is it was not treated like it tonight. The house was treated like you would walk through that, then the fun house, I was about to then say, the trail. Yeah, yeah. If I had gone through the house first tonight, the, the pacing would have been so much better. Because Agreed. Because the, the trail got multiple jump scares out of me. Mm -hmm. I, I did not think they were going to be able to pull it off tonight. So are we... Sorry. So, so again, was the haunt fully well staffed? That That is also one of the general review questions that's worth five points. And I gave you three out of five there. So again, not a horrible hit to the score, 
But when we walked through that house... We proclaimed it quite a few times. There were multiple points where I was like, bro, the house is empty. Mm -hmm. What is going on? And it's... So I just want to finish going through this. I'm going to let Gage go through if he wants to talk about any of his reasoning. But then I do want to talk about some things that uh, Green Bay Pier did really right tonight. Even though they had some really bad stumbles, and there were quite a few... They did some stuff really right. <coughs> um, dude, listen. If you want to just go die, I will drop you off at Green Bay Pier on the way home. I will drop you off there. I am coughing with my mouth closed. <laughs> I'm being um, polite. So for the rest of the... for the, <coughs> I'm sorry, continue. For the and, rest of my score sheet, you guys got all the points. So, I mean... Other than a few little slip-ups, general general was solid. There's definitely some improvements that you can make. I'm going to let Gage talk about his uh, scores, and then we're going to get into some meat and potatoes that the management and stuff will definitely want to pay attention to. Pretty much going down. <laughs> it's actually making me cough. This shit's like... This stuff is like the... Um, yawning? Yawning. That's right. That's right. My face is even getting red. Um, where are the actors in the correct positions that hands the skaters? This is where we're coming into play with... It felt like the staffing really affected this. There, I felt like there were so many corners in that house in particular is what I'm touching on. Yeah, clarify because the trail was... The trail was, was literally perfect. I think the trail was perfect tonight. You talked about the fun house, right? I did not mention that yet. I'm okay. waiting until we get through these general okay. scores. Um, uh, the house left more to be desired when it came to certain placements. And not just a little bit, a lot more. A lot. Uh, I still gave them a point out of two because the the trail, chef kiss. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is it? What do I say? Phenomenal. Oh, God. <laughs> that shit again. Did any scene with actors <laughs> and props scare you three times? No. no. I can't. The problem is, if I really have to think about it... It means they didn't do it. It didn't do it. They came close. They really There were did. some points on the trail, right, where you kind of have to space things out for your scares. Because if you just count the whole trail, then of course they did. But if so, you, but you're not going to... We don't do... We're not doing it that way. There were some points on the trail where it's like you had two good scares back to back. And it's like, come on, get like, that third. Where's, that third? where's, where's that the third? third? We're looking for it, you know. And then it's just like some dead zone, some dead time. It's like, ah, oh, that was their chance to hit the three scares, you know. So, and, like, just because it doesn't need to be three actors. What it could have been, it could have been a mixture of props and actors. Or it could be an actor scaring you, then another actor following up with that scare. And then that other actor running through the woods and then catching you up in front. It could have been something like that. Now... Yeah. Let me, let's clarify, when it comes to, what is the pacing? Because you know how you play a video game and you get a kill, a double kill, a triple kill, but there's that space in between there that makes you wonder, like, did I miss the time zone? Was it two or three seconds? Yeah, once what, things, what once clarifies things, it? Once things kind of go dead and quiet and you're back to walking and you're back to kind of doing your thing, you know, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, hey, by the way, dude, you know, don't forget we're going to this haunt tomorrow and this haunt tomorrow. Once you kind of go back... That's kind of where that pacing comes in for okay. me. And so I was just, it like two, three, four, five seconds? I just noticed that it just wasn't there. Right? Okay. You know, think about it like this. In the course of a room, they hit you, boom, get you with the sound device, bam, get you with the drop window. I mean, that's happening over the course of maybe five seconds. So, I mean, you start hitting more than five, ten seconds, that kind of closes that window sure. for the triple scare. So... Uh, moving on, I for were the sca scares the same as last year, and is it just the same old scary SOS? I gave them a three out of five. I gave them that three out of five because I feel like that house it needs a makeover. Now I understand what I'm saying is a very pricey <laughs> thing. Doesn't matter. But I'm all I'm saying is that they do change some things, which is why I didn't want to totally dock everything. And the trail they did change some things, um, but I just felt like. Nothing really made me go, wow, this yeah. was a crazy season. I do mm -hmm. want to touch on things, good things about the house. There are some good things, but we'll touch on that later. We're going through what I didn't like, or I wouldn't say I didn't like, what I felt like shouldn't be awarded. And my next one would be, did any sc sounds used to enhance a scare? I gave them one out of two. And reason being, 
is because on the house, on at the house, in, can I use the correct words there, you think? In this house, why do you look like you're the, he always, like, whenever I talk, he hides his head in this, and he's just, you look like you're like, oh, I'll tell you, I'll talk. Like, I'm going like, to predict exactly what you're about to say. Well, because I already told you before you're this gonna, video. You're going to say that the sounds that did enhance the scares were the same sounds that they've used to enhance the scares in the past years. I was going to get specific and say it's the shocking effects every time. Yeah. But yeah, so that is my rundown as to what I marked down about the hunt. You want to talk about some good things and then bonus points? I do. I want to make some more points first. Um, there are some things on the website that need a little bit of cleanup. I showed them one earlier this week. Um, it's looking a lot better now. And actually, under another one of their tabs on their website, there is still some stuff with like 2023 dates that they need to clean up. Please clean that up. Uh, I'm not docking for that, but I was going to dock for the other stuff if you didn't clean it up. <laughs> if that would have still been there tonight, I was going to be like, Let me say, I, I'm glad to hear you guys listen is the best part. Yeah, yeah, and that does that is a testament that Green Bay Fear wants to put on a good show, right? Like you point out something like, hey, this is double listed, or hey, this doesn't look right. You know, you guys might want to consider fixing this or maybe revise this. And they not only did they see it and respond, but they did it in a relatively timely manner. Um, <laughs> you know, any of the confusion on that, that's on me. I own that one. But I, I didn't know how else to kind of get their attention and show them that. I'm not really on Instagram. I'm the Instagram guy. Yeah, I'm not really on <laughs> I any post of that, that stuff. stuff. And I just wanted them to see it. That wasn't like, a, hey, look at Green Bay Fear, can't get it right. That was more like a, hey, Green Bay Fear, fix this so it looks good. The YouTube community page is his playground, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, and I just, I didn't, you know, I didn't mean any harm by that, obviously. I just wanted to point that out. And even, like, calling this out tonight, I just want to point that out to you guys. You do still have some stuff listed for, like, your 2023 attraction dates and stuff. Right, uh, right on one of your tabs. You may want to get that cleaned up because, uh, as far as I've known, it is 2024. So, yeah, I, yeah, I'm living in the present. Um, so let's talk about some stuff that was really, really, first of all, <laughs> excellent tonight. The entire trail is the best it's ever been since I started it. Phenomenal. Okay, that's your two uses per video. Um, the trail was... Firing squad. If you yeah. use a third. <laughs> <laughs> the trail tonight is the best that it has ever been. Um, there was literally a point where you were just like, where's Tater Tot? And as you said his name, it's like you summoned him like a demon from the depths bloody of Bloody Mary, bloody Mary, bloody Mary. He literally Mary. just showed up. Um... The everybody on the trail was in character. They were creative. Um, it were things I haven't necessarily <laughs> seen there before or in a very long time. Uh, so everybody that worked the trail on Friday the 11th, A freaking plus. A plus. There were some great scares. Some people came out of nowhere and they made me jump and they got me good. And I made sure to tell them when they did. It was wild. They got me. Yeah, there were good ones. They, um, the prop work out there was good too. A little floaty, creepy skeleton dude out there. I, I didn't know that was a person. Yeah, I, you, I stopped and I looked. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and that <laughs> and that scored him the scare from above too. That was really really nice. It, it's simple too. That's the best part. You don't have to yeah. go crazy with some giant animatronic. Yeah. Yeah, the and it, I mean the the trail was just so good, and the actors were all in character, and they came out and they played along with us. I mean, it was great, which is why the next two things I want to talk about are so disappointing to me. When we went into the fun house tonight. I don't know if there was a miscommunication or a miscue or if someone got hurt. I don't know what happened. We walked into the funhouse 
and the actors were all over us. Bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Right? You know, like just bringing it. Right? Mm-hmm. Bringing the show. And the one, the one guy was like diving into our he face through the smoke, face. and it was good. I mean, it was like I said, some of the best performances we've ever seen out of these guys. Right? After the red light tunnel, <laughs> it's like they lost us. We don't know what happened. But we didn't see an actor from the end of the red light tunnel all the way through the end of the fun house. So we don't know if they lost us. Somebody was on break. Though somebody easily could jump in there and take their place and do anything would have been better than nothing. Even at their side of the door. I, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I, I don't care. Anything would have been better than what we got. And that was another reason I marked understaffed. Because there were plenty of people online. There's there's no reason for that. And I'm thinking to myself, like, man, dude, what happened? That that fun house is always our highlight. It's it always is. the saving it is. the race of Green Bay. Field. And it was a real con- at first we were really concerned because we thought maybe there was a medical emergency. Dude, maybe one of the kids smashed their face or had a heart attack mm-hmm. or something. Dude, anything can happen. Anything can happen, we especially st- in that fog. And we were talking to one of the line attendants, and they said, "Well, I didn't hear any medical things come over the come over the earpiece, so you know it wasn't a medical thing." But I don't know what happened. We walked through that red light tunnel, did not see a jester or clown guy or jump scare or whatever. The rest of the funhouse, and that is a long time to go without <laughs> seeing somebody in there. Especially when you're literally just walking through. And that's like I said, where you basically went back to talking about like, yeah, so we're all meeting up at 6.15 or 6.30 tomorrow night and doing this or doing that. Like that, that's not good. Mm-hmm. You don't want your customers doing that. You know, when we were first going, I was like, I was even kind of pushing you. I'm like, move Gage. I want to see these scares. This dude's getting right in his face. I mean, it was good. It was really good. And that's why it was such a letdown when that ended. Did you say this was right after that red tunnel? Right after that right red tunnel. Right after that like guy fifth, got right in our face. Like and I'm fi- like, It's like the fifth Whoa. time I've said that now, by the way. I'm sorry. I was No, I just wanted you to know. I just wanted to know. <laughs> so, yeah. So it was a big letdown because the intensity, they had it cranked up to 11. The intensity on the trail was cranked up to 11. And the two places that Green Bay Fear really fell flat were the second half of the fun house, which I never thought I would say. And basically the entire house. Now, what I actually liked about the house is this. Clearly, somebody's listening to Jabe's Palace. Clearly, somebody's listening to some actor work somewhere. Or Haunt Acting 101 or 102 or whatever. Clearly, somebody is listening to something or they have a really deep understanding of how to do a good scare because when we walked in an actor started telling us we need to we needed to get to safety and that a certain character in a certain color suit was looking for them or looking for us doesn't matter that immediately puts into my mind a character i'm going to be watching for and expect to see in the house Mm -hmm. and i never saw it However, comma, the attempt to elicit that scare was outstanding. I have not seen that at very many haunts lately. And I was listening to James Palace talk on Haunt Topic Radio, and he was talking about how sometimes he'd pop out and just say, he's around the next corner, he's around the next corner. And you set up that scare. Even if right that person we're interacting with isn't scaring us. They're setting up the next person to get us. Mm -hmm. They're setting it up. They're setting up the scare. And we were even talking as we walked down the neon hallway. Dude, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. We're waiting for it. Never happened. It's like going on the roller coaster and going straight up. And instead of just your heart sinking in your chest when it drops, it gets stuck. That's how it felt. 
it felt like the roller coaster got stuck at the top and we never got to go down. And that was a huge letdown because they were trying to tell this story. They were trying to set up an actor for a scare. And that's the one thing we always talk about in Green Bay Fear is their story. Yeah. But they were trying to set up another actor for a scare. And somebody along the line didn't deliver. <coughs> and it was a big letdown. A really big letdown. So that's my more deep thoughts on what we experienced. Do you want to go deep on anything or do you want to go into extra points? I mean, I really no just want to mention answer. that. Is that you just saying, get on with the video? <laughs> no, it's me just saying, if you don't have anything constructive you want to say, let's move on. The one constructive thing, I wouldn't really say constructive, but, you know, it's a compliment. When it came to that house, because I want to mention something good about this house. And I love, I love what you guys did with the front like, not the front of the house, but the first few rooms or the first room sequence because yeah. the, it looks fantastic. I love what you guys did. You can actually see it. And I love how as soon as you enter that crevice, I don't want to have to say much for anyone who's never been there. It's You guys did a really good job with the effects in that one room. And there is a particular puppet that as soon as you turn the right corner, I thought you are covering your mouth like you don't want to get sick. I'm like, bro, I'm good. Um, <laughs> as soon as you turn around that corner... <laughs> I saw you staring at me so I want to stare back at you as soon as you turn around that corner you had that puppet I'm going to tell you that freaked me out the first time when we had that initial walkthrough it made him stop it made me stop I had to look at it it was creepy if you could get you someone don't have behind to keep going, that you don't have to keep going into that you say this every year and they don't do it stop talking about it no I'm not saying get someone in it I'm saying if you get someone behind it and it's going <laughs> oh oh <laughs> you guys might be cleaning up some dookie. Yeah, you good some dookie. <laughs> That's one thing I really want to mention about the house. But other than that, yes. Most of it fell flat. Uh, the thing is, right, they have such a... There's so much but there's so much unutilized potential in that house. It was a massive letdown to see them under-deliver in the house. And they basically shovel-fed it to us on the trail. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. I'm... I did like the Mr. Nice Guy scare because <clears throat> it wasn't a ah, like how it usually is. <laughs> it felt like a confetti. It felt like a party. Like, surprise, congratulations. Well, probably because <laughs> it was, quite literally. Yeah, it, that's what I love about it. it. It was a little different spin. So, you know what? If you're going to have that same hallway, and I know it's the staple of Green Bay Fear. It is. Yeah. Have a little spoof scare in there. Have maybe instead of having Mister Nice Guy in his usual outfit, maybe have someone in a in a, like a, a a fur onesie or whatever, like a not like a pajama onesie thing, and just run like ah, I'm a, I'm a spooky ghost. Like just that'd be so fun. It, it's great. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, just a little party. Everyone got a little pipe over. Boo! But yeah, other than that, the house, like I said, fell flat. Felt like it really used some changes. Uh, both uh, aesthetically and we need some more actor placement. If you could take a fraction, and I'm talking a fraction of that people on that trail, put them in that house, the score would have been a lot higher, I feel. Um, okay, let's talk about personal points. Brother, you you went on. <laughs> you, excuse you? you? You went on and on about your stuff, and I'm talking about mine. All right. <laughs> Let's, let's get this show on the road, pal. We don't got all day. Uh, but no, I mean, and realistically, you are right. That's all I really want to talk about. You touched <laughs> about the other things when it came to the trail. Boo, Justin. You were Boo, right. Boo, Justin. You were right. right. You were Boo, right. Boo, Justin. You were right. That trail, great. Fun house. What happened? Yeah, we no. were actually concerned for, like, the actors. Yeah. And they're like... We asked They people. literally disappeared. I'm just like, what happened? Did, were we too fast? I doubt it. Because I, no. I, I was slow. I was actually scared. Yeah, you were slow. Talk about anxiety. <laughs> That's really... A, it became an anxiety simulator after that red tunnel. So, yeah. Let's move on to bonus points. You want to go first? No. Uh, you, I, you got to talk for all that time. Now, I want to talk about my stuff. You already did. I know. I was just, I was just being a dick, dude. Um, so... There's some stuff we have not talked about yet tonight, and probably because we usually buy Fast Pass and don't get to see it. 
Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Q-line work tonight. I'm giving him a bonus point for Q-line work. It was outstanding. All the Q-line actors were in character. They were varied. They were different. And they were creepy as hell. This was quite excellent. Quite excellent. Um, I loved watching them work the customers. I liked how they came over and worked us a little bit. Very, very good. I gave an additional point on Q-line actors. I also gave an additional point on actor intensity. I haven't seen an actor intensity like this at Green Bay Fear in a very long time. I'm not including the house in this statement, but everything else, the intensity from the actors we encountered was top tier. Better than some of the best haunts I've been to in the state. It was outstanding. Uh, the trail kicked butt. It's the best the trail's ever been. I gave an additional point for that as well. Um, this was my second visit there, and the trail still felt fresh and different, probably because of all the corridor-like upgrades they brought in and did. I gave an additional point for that. And there was a house actor that really did try to tell a story and set up a scare, but it did not deliver. I am, however, still awarding an additional point for this, as I rarely see actors selflessly doing things like this. A plus, 10 points to Gryffindor, not actual 10 points, just you guys get it, all right? So I'm giving an additional point for that. So I gave them an additional five points tonight. Uh, that puts their current score at 73. Gage, go ahead. <coughs> No bonus point. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, my bonus points. I want to talk about that intro. I want to give the exact same bonus points as uh, Justin did. I actually want to give one additional bonus point. I'm so sorry to cut you off, but I need to give one more. After the intro, I saw three or four different actors make a mad dash for this group of people that was watching it. And like chase after them and like get after the group and start scaring. I'm giving an additional point for that as well. Uh, I did originally include that in actor intensity, but uh, I'm also gonna give a point for that. I I was just walking up as the show was ending and I was just kind of like, okay, I've seen this right. I don't need to see it again. You know, I was just mainly watching for the fire effect. And after the fire went off, I saw these actors just come blitz this group, and I was like. I've never seen Green Bay Fear like this before. So currently they're sitting at a 74. Now I'm done. I'm sorry. Now I want you to understand that we don't talk about our bonus points with each other. So we are going to have duplicates. Again, <clears throat> I want to <clears throat> reiterate. Nice word. <laughs> Phenomenal. That's it. Firing squad. Get out of here. <laughs> <I> was, <yeah. laughs> That intro and story setup that you guys do, I love it. I didn't really get the chance to really see it, unfortunately, because I went to go to my Jeep. But I know what it's like, because uh, we did go earlier in this season. I'm just saying that, and you did tell me about it, so say if I didn't, I would take your word for it. I know you wouldn't lie to me. So I'm, I want to give that bonus point for that. Really great job. Q-Line Entertainment. It sounds like I'm just, there's an echo in this room, because it's well-deserved. That Q-Line Entertainment, you guys did a phenomenal job. That's the video right there. That's four. Keep going, come I on. I feel like I need to dollar, donate a dollar every time I do it. Put it in the phenomenal jar. Uh, you guys did a great job with that Q-Line Entertainment. The trail was properly lit, as well as... Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, but that's a good one. <laughs> it was lit. It was yeah. lit, <laughs> dog. <Let's go. laughs> wow, I didn't, that was so unintentional. But yes, it was properly lit. <laughs> both meanings, both in the cool kid way and the oh my gosh, I gotta wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning tomorrow for work kind of way. <laughs> but um, you guys did a great job with that um, uh, scenery as well. I, I was kind of surprised walking through that trail when I felt like I walked into a house. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, I thought we were outside. It was, it was excellent. That was that was excellent. Uh, the build-up in the house and the first few changes, I already kind of touched on this earlier, but that 
gal who... She was telling the story. She was setting up the actors. She actor. set up that story. No, and leads me to believe, what if that purple person they were talking about was the one hidden behind that wall? No. It, it wasn't? It should have been more... It should have been more... Abrupt. Obvious? Yeah, it should have been more obvious. <sighs> yeah. Um, and my last point that I'm going to give them is the actor and actress energy. I can't think of any actor or actress on that trail that was... Mm. Yeah, there was none of that. There was no limp actor interactions. Mm. Yeah. I'm just a volunteer. I don't get paid for this. I am going to hold a bar and go... Oh. Yeah, that was dumb. <clears throat> that energy, you guys do it. Dare I say, don't. F- fantastic. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> that would bring this up. So from five points, what are we sitting at right sitting now? Sitting at a 79. 79 out of 100. So it's a good haunt. It, it is. It's a good haunt. There were definitely some, there were some weaknesses in some areas tonight. Uh, really disappointing to see the house fall so flat, especially after basically we walked off the trail and I was like, dude, this house is going to kick ass tonight. This is going to be outstanding. That trail was amazing. Especially because we came off of the fun house and we were like, what just happened? Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad, but the second half was empty. And then we're standing there getting ready to go into the trail and it's like, come on, dude, we got to have something. And then, I mean, they, when they started hitting us on the trail, I was like, okay, this is what this should have been like. And then we get to the house. I'm like, here we go, dude. This is going to be great. And it wasn't. There was just some, it was like that start and stop, start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. You get all the way up to the top of the roller coaster and you break down and it's over and everybody has to get walked off by an attendant. That's how it felt. I felt like if that fun house was properly, I don't know if you want to say staff, but properly, like... There was a miscommunication or a mishap somewhere. Was, Something this had to would, that, This would have brought this over in 80. 80 or just a little bit over. I would have, I feel like, because I feel like I would have given a bonus point for the fun house. If, and I definitely would have given an extra point for fully and well staff too. So, I mean, the haunt's good. It's a good show. It is. If you you're guys, going to tear in a Fox, go to Green Bay Fear yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. You guys should go and support them. They have a good show. They have some of their best actor work I've ever seen there. And it's very clear that they care about their product. And it's very clear that it's important to them. There is just, some things that they definitely need to work on. Um, if you've been to Green Bay Fear this year, make sure you let us know your thoughts on in the comments below. If you're an actor there and our review helped you in some way, shape, or form better your performance, let us know as well. MVA. Don't want to forget it this time. Who's your MVA? Uh, the girl in the house that was trying to set up a scare. Girl in the house? It's the first time I've seen that. My MVA has to be the... Two actresses working the hangman location. Were they harping on us? Yeah, they got after us. And the best part is, like, the one that was going after us, the one behind her that was just quiet, she played a story, in a sense, to where she was looking at one of the hanging people and bawling, crying her eyes out, like, as if she lost a loved one. So I just want to say, that was some really good actor and actor actor, interaction it's good actor work, yeah. and actor work. They told a story through a simple scream. If you could do that, you deserve an MBA. Yeah. I'm Gabe from Is It Scary Wisconsin. Yeah, I'm Justin with Is It Scary. Again, if you're a, if you're a, a scare actor here at Green Bay Fear and our review helped you at all, please let us know in the comments. Um, like the video if you guys enjoy our no BS approach to these uh, haunt, haunted house reviews. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video. There's merch links in the description if you want to check out some banging merch like this. I'll have green blood in the back because we're cool. Thank you all so much for watching. And there is just one last question we need to address. Is it scary, Wisconsin? Have a good night.